Hi, my name is Carrie Gans, and I'm from the Newbie Phenomenon. Uh, we're going to be announcing a whole new website soon called Newbie Rewards. Uh, that's going to be terrific. So, uh, but that's for a whole other video. Uh, what I wanted to show you right now, once again, is a program called. It's on the web. It's free. It's called Stat Counter. Now they have a paid version, but um, you can register for it. You can see it on the screen here. It's at StatCounter.com, and you can register once again for free. Now, what I wanted to show you today is not so much Stat Counter because there are a number of ways of tracking URLs, but um, tracking visitors to your website. But there, I don't know of many ways of tracking visitors to your blog that work as well as this. So I thought I'd show you in a matter, it takes a matter of minutes to do it. Let me just shut some of this stuff down. Um, it takes a matter of minutes to do it, and I'm going to show you. So anyway, all you do is you set up an account. Obviously, you have to register. Once you've done that, you log in. And it'll take you to uh, pretty much your dashboard. Once you're at your dashboard, you can see I have a whole bunch of stuff here. What we're going to do now is I'm going to remove this this one right here. This is what we're going to be doing today because I have that. So we're going to try to remove that and I should be able to go to the trash. We're going to go to the trash and it has been deleted. Okay. Um, and what we're going to do now is add a new project. We're just going to add it back in but I wanted to show you how to do this. And the website title is going to be Twitter, right? That's my web for Twitter, my, my blog and it's at www.twitterright.com. So hop over there and take a look at what Twitter right has. We have a load of stuff on Twitter um, and social networking. And you have to put it into a category. So we'll put it into, oh, I don't know, computer and internet. And it asks you for the maximum visit length. I'll just leave it at 30 minutes because most people don't stay on your website. Even though it's wonderful, they don't stay. And you can leave the rest of this alone. You're not going to do any IP blocking and uh, you don't have to worry about the lock size. So then just go ahead and click on next. And all you need to do here is click configure and install code. And you have now have to tell it what do you want the stat counter code to do? What do you need it to do? Well, I don't want it visible because I don't know what it has to know my business. I'd like it to be invisible. So we're going to leave it invisible. I don't want any buttons showing on anything. And we'll click next. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be installing it on a WordPress blog that I host myself. Now you can see you can install it on a whole bunch of other ways, but we're going to be using WordPress.org. That's where I set up my own blog, and for the most part, I would suggest that you do it because if you want to install it on um, a blog from that that's free from blog, you know, from WordPress.com, there are limitations. You're always better off hosting it yourself. You have much greater control. So we're just going to do that. Uh, we don't need a HTML counter, and, it's, and we don't need to go ahead and worry about XTHM, X HTML. Excuse me on my eye edges. And now it gives you a bunch of code. Now don't worry about the code, you don't really need to worry about it too much. What we're going to do now is grab this code by going up with the mouse, or you can just right click and, and click select all. Then I'm going to copy it. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm going to put it into Notepad. Now I've already done it, but I'm going to do it again in case they change the code on me. And we'll paste it. Now it's in Notepad. And we're going to leave it in there. Okay? And now what we're going to do is pause this and I'm going to open up Twitter right. Okay, now one of the things I didn't mention um, was that you need to download the StatCounter WordPress plugin. And that you do by clicking right here. Now what it does is it downloads a zip file. Store it somewhere on your hard drive, you can put it on your desktop, just so you can find it when you get to your blog, to your WordPress blog because it's very easy to install programs if you do it from a zip file. You don't have to know about FTP, you don't, have to, you, know, you don't need any of that. It'll do it automatically and do it perfectly. So once again, I'm going to pause it again just to get over to the uh, right. Okay, I'm in my uh, in Twitter right in the administration screens for Twitter right blog, the WordPress blog. And just to give you a quick idea, all you need to do is uh, go to plugins and you want to click on add new. And then what you're going to do is once the screen comes up, you're going to go to Upload, and then you're going to go ahead and look for that plugin. It's just taking a second. You're going to browse for it. It'll bring it up once you find it. That's why if you put it on your desktop, it's typically easy to find it. So you'll bring it up here, and then you'll just click Install. It'll then run through something, and then it'll ask you to activate it, and you need to activate it. That's, it's as simple as all that. It takes a matter of oh, a minute, minute and a half. Then what you're going to find is which, all the way down here you're going to see a stat counter settings. In settings you'll see stat counter. So you're going to click on that 
and now there are certain things you have to install. First you have to enable it and then you've got to put in these settings. Now if you look in the notepad file, now it changed so I'm going to redo these for you. This is what I, I had done this for another video. So the first thing it wants to know is your project ID which is right here. It's asking for the pro, I'll move it over a little bit. Project ID. So here it says project and you're going to just go over that and I'm going to click copy come in here and click paste. It wants okay now the next thing it wants is the partition ID so I'm going to go back open up that and wants the partition which is 57 which is fine and the next thing it wants is the stat count of security well that's changed since I did it the first time so we're going to change it here and I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste and then I'm going to update the options and that's about all you have to do so it's now complete I'm going to pause this and let's see what it looks like okay now you'll see that when I go back to my my projects and stat counter there's Twitter right and you have all these buttons and once it starts to get hits now you can see my newbie phenomenon website I had 12 hits so far today it's still the morning and so far this month we've had 220 and since I, I put this on here we've had 3,000 and you can see those are all the hits I've had to these various uh, you know, websites or blogs of mine. Here's a WordPress Unleashed blog and a WordPress plug-in ebook. So that, you, know, you can pretty much use it for a wide variety of reasons and it gives you a way of tracking whether something's successful or not. So it's a very cool little thing. I think you're allowed 10 free. I'm not exactly sure of that but I think it's 10 for free but you can check it out. Um, you can just go up to billing and see what the costs are. And if it, you know, if you're going to use more and it's, it costs a couple of dollars, it's well worth it. Because once again, once you click on the the graphs, it'll show you in real time the stats. Now I have no, obviously, I have nobody in. We just did it, but you can check it based upon time, on data, whatever, uh, an area graph. You can look at it in a number of ways. It shows you daily your page loads, the unique visitors, the first-time visitors, and returning visitors. So you get a, you get real good statistics from it. And once again, it's free. So that's uh, Stat Counter and using it with your WordPress blog. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget, check out twitterwrite.com, which is um, my Twitter blog, or go to wordpressunleashedonline.com slash blog with a lowercase b to my WordPress blog. And you'll get all kinds of great information. Have a great day. We'll see you at the next video.